And you was a Golden Gloves yep. boxer. How you get into that? Well, I, well, I used to interview those guys, fighters, when I was working for the Kansas City Plain Deal, which was a black newspaper. Mm -hmm. Come out every week. <clears throat> And I should oh, yeah. take photographs of, like Ezra Charles, mm -hmm. uh, even when Sugar Ray Robinson won the Weatherweight title. Mm. And, uh, and I used to hang out at this, at this gym, and there was a boy named Dorothy, D A L R T H A R D, Jagged Dorothy, who, and, and he, he wanted to fight Sugar Ray. And Sugar Ray wouldn't fight him. Mm -hmm. But the boy was good. He said, I didn't come to no small ass town to get beat up. He <laughs> <laughs> took easy. He said, I didn't come to no small town to get all beat up. Mm -hmm. so, but anyway, I just do a wall cut. Mm. And I used to write about these guys, you know, as just part of my 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 boot, my beat. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And I used to work, work, work for this guy who taught me how to really develop film. Mm -hmm. And he would, uh, he was blind. Wow. And uh, he had made a camera out of box camera. Mm -hmm. And I would use that camera. And people would come by, people who were in the porn business. And they would, they would that's before they got all this, what we have today. Mm -hmm. But they would come in and hit somebody at a party, they would do their buck down and everything. Well-known people. So they were bringing to this photographer because they knew that he couldn't see. Mm -hmm. But they had me in the back. Uh -huh. And I would develop, the, he would develop the film and I would print their photographs. And I recognized all my friends, you know, enjoying each other. Mm. Naked as, as, as jaybirds. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to do. Mm -hmm. I caught their game. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, then, uh, then I went to school, San Francisco Junior College, and uh, my instructor was. Anson, what's his name? He uh, used to be this life photographer. The Anson Adams. Yeah, right. Wow. Yeah, right. That's the one. Mm -hmm. He was one of my one, one of my uh, instructors. And uh, of course, I didn't have enough money to stay in the school, so I had to drop out and, and got me a job downtown that on the in, 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 on Montgomery Street, which was the sort of a, the street of nightlife. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when uh, they they come out. Jack uh, Jack Mc, Mc, Jack McVeigh uh, hit the no. It was a uh, hit the road, Jack. And anyway, I became famous. And I would t that's when the Polaroid camera coming up. Mm -hmm. And I was going out and shoot at the clubs and bring them back within about thirty five forty minutes. You know, and pick up ten dollars. Mm. Make a make a living. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, Ansel Ansel Adams. That's what I'm talking. About. What I'm trying to remember, remember the world famous life photographer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I learned a few things there. You know, we had a lot of some other, about twenty five other students who had more experience than I had. That I could gain from. Hey, Talbert. Oh, Talbert. I, I think he already. I, I, hope, I, I was going to let him yes, know. Mm -hmm. you, you can go, you know, wait, you're not with me, are you? No. Okay. I, I know. I, I need to. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Those were some of my highlights I, I can think of uh, that uh, was on my watch during that time. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, let me see. Those were the ones mostly re remembered. Mm hmm Yeah. Do you get, ever get a chance to talk to, like, Ernest Withers, the civil rights photographer? You ever talk to him? No. Okay. Or about uh, any stories about any civil rights people, like Dr. King or anybody like that? Or? Never did get a chance for that. Or Malcolm X, nobody? I wasn't here. 
I was in the military. Oh, you saw I was in the military. And I, I was not here during that rain that time. 